Hello and welcome to The Voice, a DBS Wealth Management Insights podcast. Each week we get to the heart of a hot topic in the financial markets. And this week we shift our focus back to the possible developments in Singapore's consumer spending pattern post-circuit breakup. With restrictive measures on track to ease in June, one key question is what will the consumption recovery trend be after the restrictions are eased? The circuit breaker has confined most of the population to their homes with a positive impact on supermarket sales and a negative one on F&B food services. Singapore retail sales for March were primarily a result of the stay-home effect, reporting a headline decline of 13.3% year-on-year, but a 35.9% jump in supermarket sales. The decline in April's retail sales should be more pronounced. Now, as June approaches, we expect recovery to be slow and steady, with social distancing still practiced as a precaution. Outlook for retail remains cautious. Although the easing of restrictions would help, it is not going to be significantly positive for F&B food service sales as long as dining in remains prohibited. It is also going to be a slow and measured journey for consumption to normalize to pre-COVID levels. As authorities try to avoid another circuit breaker, any easing of restrictions would be executed cautiously. Theoretically, larger retail outlets that can accommodate higher footfall would benefit as consumers slowly return to shop. But this will ultimately depend on whether non-essential retailers are allowed to operate. For as long as circuit breaker restrictions are in place, grocery retailers will remain as the key beneficiaries of retail sales. The absence of tourists would also impact retailers, especially those exposed to tourist spending. Singapore's tourist arrivals have dropped dramatically from February 2020 by close to 90% year-on-year. Changi Airport, which recently won the world's best airport title for eight years in a row, has suspended operations in Terminals 2 and 4 due to the sharp decline in flight movement as a result of the pandemic. In the medium term, reduced footfall could be the new normal, no thanks to smaller on-site workforce, observance of social distancing, as well as the realization that online channels make shopping more efficient. However, online retail only accounts for 8.5% of total retail sales in Singapore. The operating guidelines retailers have to adhere to before they are allowed to reopen and consumers' level of spending will ultimately determine the recovery pattern in retail sales. Supermarkets continue to stand out as opposed to F&B food service, largely premised on our slow and gradual recovery scenario. They would be a physical place to shop for as long as other retailers remain shut. If easing and opening of other retailers is gradual, consumers with no other places to shop would still visit the supermarkets. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Voice, a DBS Wealth Management Insights podcast. We hope these episodes provide deeper insight as to what's going on in the financial markets and how you can maximize your portfolio. For more insights into how we can help you pursue your financial goals, do contact your relationship manager or visit DPS Research linked in your email. Thanks again for joining us and we'll catch you again on another episode of The Voice.